Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Y'all see it. You ready now? You mm -hmm. talking all that crazy. I got the camera out now. What's going on? No, what you up to? Man, look, look at it. Let me see your face. Y'all see it. Y'all y'all don't even know who this is. She look, look she look out entirely different than the last video, do you? Kiss him sassy. You know, for real though, you're talking too much. Can I suck your dick? Look, 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 look. What? Look, look, look. What look. you scared of? We ain't not here for that. What you scared of? I ain't scared now. Hey, what's I can't do an interview. You wanna see something? Let them see that. Mm -hmm. Look at look at. He's scared, y'all. I ain't scared. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't gonna. I can't do an interview. He's scared of man. That's all that is. Look at y'all hear that? Sure. You gonna have my my. I got my, my toy and everything. On you gonna have my you, you gonna have the motherfucker in the comment like, oh, he did something with her. <laughs> he ain't tricking me. Nah, nah, nah. We Come gonna on, get this. man. Y'all tell him what's up. Nah, listen, T man. Tell him, t tell him to take it. She only wanna do the interview, y'all. I'm trying to get an interview. She she trying to do some other shit. Listen, but listen though, but for the people that don't know who you are, the new- It's Coco. That's right, tell them your name again. It's Coco, y'all. Coco, how old are you, Coco? I'm 29. 29, where you from? From Random, man. From Random, y'all remember you. Coco? 29 from Random? Yeah, can we fuck? Say what? Can we fuck? Come on, what you waiting on? Look, look, look. Uh, look, look. Make a watch shit. Look, you want you we want to go loud, we get paid. What you talking about? You want the donation? <laughs> Yo. You want saying. you want the donation? I'm just saying. I'm gonna give you a what donation you anyway. You ain't gotta see up in there. I ain't here by none. Look, I ain't here. I ain't. I ain't. I ain't but I'm, look, he scared pussy, y'all. He wants some pussy. <laughs> this little young ass girl right here, crazy. So what's so what's going on? What's, what's been going on since the last time I spoke to you, though? Not shit. You know, uh, sucking a little dick here and there, trying to show you what's up and everything, but you bullshit. Yeah, you know, yeah, 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 I'm bullshit. You know, I ain't. Y'all, he's scared. I'm trying to tell you he's scared. Y'all hear me talking to him, right? Okay, thank you. Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> you talk what? to your family? Man, you talk to your family? Yeah, I talk like, to family. Mm -hmm. Look. What? So, how your, fam how, your fam how your family doing? My family doing good. Huh? My family doing good. Oh, yeah? Mm hmm You talk to your kids? I sure enough did. You you been out here you been slowing down with your, on your addiction? Mm, just a little bit. You look yeah, you look you, you look more healthy and more like you know what I mean, like like you like you might have slowed down. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because I've been waiting on you all day so I can get some dick. You been what? Waiting on you all day so I can get some dick. Come on. But I can see now this ain't gonna this ain't gonna this ain't, this, <laughs> this interview right here ain't gonna ain't gonna We're go. Lying to them. Look. Lying them about what? Cause you know you want some all this. Nah, girl, mm -hmm. chill out. Chocolate. Nah. Chocolate, but listen, chocolate. No, damn, chocolate. she ain't gonna let me. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Can we get serious for one minute? Mm -hmm. Can we get serious for? Uh, okay, one minute, one minute. Yeah, five, ten minutes. Can we get serious for ten okay, minutes? Okay, ten minutes. All right, give me ten minutes. Ten minutes of your time. You know I got cream pie, right? You got, you, <laughs> got you got you got what? Cream pie. What the hell is that? I'm a creamer. I'm a square. I cream, and then I'm a little chocolate too. Mm -hmm. Y'all hear that? <laughs> you know, you know I got a daughter, 29 years old. Okay. You don't care? Don't don't, don't think about it. Nah, I, I got to <laughs> Yeah, I don't do. I don't get down like that. But now, but now, but listen, no, give me, give, give me ten minutes. Okay, you, okay. I'm gonna post this interview. Okay. I don't okay. care. I'm gonna post it. I don't care if your family see it. That you, I'm trying to get, get you. You know what I mean? Talk some positivity. Hi, fam. I'm fucking up. Trying to do better. Mwah. Yeah, get, talk some positivity in your life. You trying to talk about something else? <laughs> but listen, like, what, what, what was I saying? Anyway, I'm only gonna charge you one fifty. So you straight. Oh shit! I know. I, know, <laughs> I ain't got one fifty. That's shit. I, I ain't got one fifty. I'm broke. But anyway, uh, like I was saying. Before you made me lose my chain of thought. <laughs> Crazy there. But listen though, um, what about you? Your, your kid no matter of fact, look, you look a lot healthier than you did last time. That's why I saw you. You was out here, you had your little your little, you know, your little dreads out, saying you was going through things and you were sleeping anywhere. But I can tell now that you that you obviously you not find you somewhere to sleep, right? Mm-hmm. So where, where you where you where you been staying at? What a friend. She's uh we kinda, you know, we're going through the same thing together. So So y'all like we help we helping each other. Supporting each other like damn, mm -hmm. we can do it, we can do it together. That's good. You know we can have a threesome. Who? We even hunger. Nah, man. What? Listen, this woman here. <laughs> look, y'all look. I'm, I got some box. I promise you one thing. It's gonna be some dudes on my on my channel that be ready to reach out to. Y'all know where to find me. Yeah, you, want, you want me to give them your information? Or, Cause I don't like to give them people out. Listen, I don't. I don't. I, don't I like am on South AM. Look, girl. Now At the I, shell I, station, I, I, ain't, I ain't responsible for it because if somebody come out here and something happen. To you, I ain't gonna say I, I connected nobody, none of that shit. But you out here doing all this talking like that. I know them guys finna be all all saying, "Oh yeah, he got that, he got that here today. He ain't do, the, he ain't tricking us." And you know I ain't getting down like that. Tell them, tell let them know that right now. But um, but it's good that you and your home girl came together, cause sometimes 
Stop doing that. Sometimes, sometimes when y'all work together, mm -hmm. oh, you ain't trying to hear that? I'm listening. Sometimes when y'all work together mm -hmm. and y'all leaning on each other, it's good that y'all can find y'all somewhere to stay, get out the cold. And then you ain't, you ain't depending on no, no pimp, no man that's going to get them. How y'all here selling yourself, then take your money, do all that other shit, you feel me? So that's that. tomorrow to get her um, feet done. Where y'all get her? Get, she getting her feet done? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, where y'all finna go? Where she, where she gonna show her toes at? It's cold. Yo, yo, we got videos in the room about our feet. Oh, y'all be doing them, them feet videos? Uh huh. Oh, you got them, uh, what's that What's that little page they be, uh, females be having getting their money off of? Damn, uh. Uh, -uh. You, you must ain't got one because you don't even know, you don't know what mm -hmm. I'm talking about. I, I do, but I don't. But she she said a couple times. I don't know. It, it goes on her shit. And she just gave me my cut. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. So you'll get your feet done too? It's good. You got your hair. You got your, got your is that a, look, what's that, a little yeah. wig? It look, it look like it, it can be your real hair though. Okay, then keep, keep yourself up. Cause one thing about one thing about this lifestyle, and the lifestyle you you in, if you ain't careful, it'll take you all the way down. And it will. You be out here like, looking dusty. You be out here looking dirty. You want better afford no wigs. You want better keep your lips done, your toes. So you see how they were looking on the last one. Huh? Hmm. Well, yeah, but I re I respect that you that you're trying to hold it all together. Uh, Got to. At but how you day, gonna? At the end of the day, like I do what I do, but like I'm a woman at the end of the day, so. Uh, as a woman, like, I already feel like I lower myself, not granted myself anyway because I'm out here. Right. But, like, you got like you got to keep yourself up. Like, you got to keep yourself up. Get the, at the end of the day, it's get that money. Fuck what a nigga say and another bitch got to say. As long as you're getting your money and you stacking your shit, fuck all the bullshit. But, yeah, but, but the most, but, but some, it's, there's something more important than that. That's getting off that addiction. So you ain't even got to be too. out here at all. That too. Yeah, because once you got that addiction, you ain't got to be out here at all, even degrade yourself none. Not even, you can go stack bread a thousand different. If the average woman out here, y'all are real hustlers. Y'all living off the land by y'all self, y'all surviving. Y'all got to fend for y'all self and everything. If you could take that same strong lioness attitude and get clean and take that shit into the real world, sky's is the limit. See, and you know what? When me being out here, I don't know what, like, what the fuck? Hey, shit, my job, I got a house. I still got my house, car, apartment. Like, man, if y'all see me then, y'all see me now. How you lose all that? Tell my me a story. My, my son's father, he wanted me to be more like him. When I met him, I was working at Waffle House, seven and a half years. I was a cook, manager, and a waitress. I was working uh, at uh, Hardy's as a general manager. I had like five stores. Um, like, I had I had a maid, like, I had my kids, like I said, a house and apartment, a brand new Honda that I pay for straight cash out of my damn bank account. I had everything, like, you couldn't tell me shit. But over the fact of me not having to ask anything for him, I could just go get shit my damn self, anything and everything that I wanted. He told me I wasn't depending on him, so therefore, he was smoking, and he got me to go smoke. So your baby daddy started you to smoking? Yeah. When, hey. when when I was two months, three months pregnant, he, I told he him. He started you smoking crack when you was two or three months pregnant. Mm -hmm. <sighs> he had a son, and his son died at like three or four months. Uh, what thing is it called? What seize? Seizure. No seize. What? Seize something like that. I don't know. I forget the name of it. But um, when I met him, we you know we started getting real serious, and I told him you're gonna get me pregnant, and it's gonna be a boy. I said your son gonna come back, but it's. So you. It'll be different. And three months later, what happened? Pregnant, a boy. And I, like, I don't know. But, like, he don't want a son. So, it is what it is. But he don't want a son? Mm -mm. He won't come see him. He denies him. Tells, he tells me that I've been cheating on him. I don't, I don't, if I'm with you, I'm loyal. Like, you hold me down, I'm going to hold you down. He think you're cheating now or he think you're cheating back then? He, that, he think I'm cheating then. He won't talk to me now. Why, because you're out here? But before I came out here. Why? I'm not. Oh, but he got you, but he got he got you started smoking that, that dope before you came out here. So I could depend on him. And then and my dumb ass because I love you. Then throw you to the wolves. Because I was in love with him. Right. Dumb ass did what he wanted. Oh yeah. So so is that how you end up lo losing your um your cars and your apartment and all that stuff? See, I didn't know you could take your money order back to Walmart and get the cash. So he did that. I was paying four ninety eight for my uh, apartment for the rent, and he was taking my shit for like seven and a half months. So by the time they got to me, because they would leave me notes and letters stuff like that, and he would take it and rip it up, right? In the mail, everything, right? So by the time that they really got in touch with me, shit like that, 
you know how you, far. You were seven, eight, nine months behind. Man, my shit. It was wasn't all, no catching up. No, it, it wasn't. Especially not with no, with no new addiction. So, that shit, like, that shit fucked me up. So, do you think that, um, outside of him stealing from you, he you, my do, car. He, do, he took my car, sold my car for pieces and everything. Got high off of. Well, he, I didn't he know. Ran, I, he ran your car out. Yeah, like I didn't know none of this shit. Well, let let the, let the drug dealers drive your car for some dope and bring it back. He sold my car. Sold in, it in, in parts. Huh? In parts. Okay. Well, well for part, like. Yeah, it, I get what you're saying. So, right. Like, he, he fucked me up, but you know, I can't like I blame myself because I allowed it. But it, it is what it is. Like I'm I'm dealing with that shit, but I'm not dealing with it. Um. My second daughter, I was right because I got pregnant with her. So I was already dealing with a lot of mental shit. And I got close with him since he, when he did that shit. Like, it really fucked me up. Right. So now I'm just, I'm, I'm getting myself back together. Getting yourself back together. Do you feel like he uh, intentionally got you on that drug so he can control you? And, and you wouldn't ever leave he him? And you, and you had to depend on him and get high? He did. Think that's, so how long y'all last after he, after he gave it to you? The first time? How long, from, from, from the day he gave it to you, how long did y'all last? Before y'all end up splitting up for good? About four months, four and a half months. So when your baby was born, he wasn't there? So he started you smoking at two months pregnant, and by the time you had the baby, he, he, he was when gone? When I was six months pregnant, he wasn't there. Dang. He, he left me. I then lost all my shit. He left me. Right. So I was in Solid City, matter of fact, by myself. Right. Gave, I uh, had my daughter with me. I told my grandmother to take my daughter. Mm -hmm. I can't, can't do it right now. And right. I was like, she she's never seen me like that. I've been low, like I fell off a few times, but I've never, I've never been this low before in my life. Yeah, she she on my way. That's your, that's your people. Yeah, she on my day. She coming. But like, what, what you were saying? But, you said uh, you've never been like that. I, I, I've never been this low. Like I've been low, but I've never, I've never been on the streets before in my life. So right. When I came here. I'm a white girl on low, y'all. Like, right. my, my music's country. Like, it was just, I was green. Something I can't hear. So, like, I, like, I'm still learning shit and everything, but, like, I, I've never, I've never set up on the street like this before. I've never had to sell myself or go steal shit to survive. I, I've never had to do none of this. So, like, it's new to me, but it's not new to me. I've been out, I did 12 months in county jail. Worst, worst time ever. You know, that's some bullshit. You stay locked down with them time. You stay in the hole or you was out there in population? I, I was in population. Yeah. I got in the hole what three times. What you go to the hole for? Fighting? Yeah. And once for fucking. She had really good pussy. What, too. You, you did what now? Fucking. She had really good pussy. Too. Oh, so, so you, you mess with a female now? Mm, y'all had to get me a nut somehow. And y'all <laughs> y'all got y'all went to the hole? Mm. How y'all get caught? See, what had happened was she told me to stop and that was in my mind. So when I'm started, I'm just going to keep going. Though. Who told you to stop? The girl? Yeah. That you were doing it with? She was like, stop, and you kept going? Mm -hmm. And the, the police came, made that round to see y'all? Mm-hmm. And she, I still kept going until she nutted. Okay, so she didn't tell I you to stop because she, she, so she didn't tell you to stop because she didn't want you no more. She wanted you to stop so the police couldn't see y'all. Mm-hmm. But I, I was hungry, so. Oh, so you was, you was eating out? Mm-hmm. Huh? It was real good, too. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> you finna have a man and a woman uh, on here commenting today on your ass. Shit, I eat some pussy now. So I tell y'all, I just don't know. This, this little girl right here, man. This little, this little, this little youngin right here. She wild now. So um. I'm an angel. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, you're an angel. Yes, yeah, angel. yeah. <laughs> so um, last time I spoke to you, you said you was spending six, seven, eight hundred dollars a day, three, eight balls or more, and you was making six, seven bands a week. You still got the same type of addition, or you don't slow down? I've actually slowed down a lot. A lot? Since I've been in the room with my homegirl, she like, she slowed me down a lot and I'm so thankful for, thankful for it. I'm keeping my money in my pocket now. Thank you, Jesus, I am. So like, it, it's getting better. You still smoking three eight balls? No. How many down to? One and a half. One and a half what? But how much, how much money you spend on it, day? Ooh, uh, mm, 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 mm. Four. I thought you said, you just said before you can be lying. Before the camera, you said you were down to eight. You said you were down to eighty dollars. Let me know. Let me know. Let me you said you were down to eighty dollars. See what had happened was I miscounted. You know I got CRS. <laughs> so. Yeah, I said that's one thing about them lies. We tell that one lie. You gotta remember that lie now. Can I suck your dick now? Go ahead, let, 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 let the whole world see you talking to a grown, a grown man like that. Go ahead, let the whole world see. This is the hate. 
Nah, man, I, I ain't get down. It's too cold outside. You need to be in somewhere, getting yourself together, trying to get your addiction right. Go get the. You said you, you said you. Uh, last time I spoke to you, you bust out in tears when we we started talking about your, about your about your daughter. You talked to them. Yes, I did the other day. That's good. So, uh, you looking to build a relationship with your kids? Back up. Cause, because, because, hold on. Because when I spoke to you last time, you was like, um, I'm running. You're running, and you're afraid to get a lifestyle up because you, you you don't know your kids. You got to get to know your kids all over again. Yeah, I don't. I, as a woman, I don't feel working no more because I am out here. But, but like, you're doing better now, though. So, so they, if they see you now, they're gonna be like, they they probably wouldn't even know that you're still doing that. So you you really can like start. Yeah, my, my. And, and, I, and I think once you once you start seeing them. The love you get from them a change you like, man, let me go ahead and get my shit together. I want this every day, not just once every blue moon. They tell I want to follow Bobby, will you go come home, Bobby? Are you better? Are you getting better? Like my oldest, she's eleven, like she's How do you know what you're doing? Somebody tell, talking about you behind your back? My oldest, I don't lie to her. Oh, you don't lie? No, no. I'm not gonna lie to my kids. I don't care. Y'all, y'all can have your opinion if you want to. Mama, me growing up, my mother never lied to me about shit. Sex, everything I asked asked about, she, she tell me. Was, was, was that a good thing? Why you want to be like her? No, she, she told me. But do you think that was a good thing that your mama telling you all that? Oh, okay. I'm just asking. I'm, I mean, I'm just asking. Them. I, I let my viewers comment on that right there. But y'all think that's good? I don't think to tell a, a, a nine year old, eight year old, ten year old, eleven year old kid I mean, that, you that you're smoking. Think about it, though. What? The world that we're in right now. Uh huh. We're gonna hear from somebody. So, like, respectful wise, I prefer for my child to come to me and ask me. Yeah, but I, 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 I think I, I think I, I think I wait until they're old enough to, to receive it, right? And they can handle it. And they want they, they, they understand it. Then I, I tell. I, I, I understand what you're saying, but my, my right now my kid is in a fantasy where he waiting on Santa Claus to come. So I don't want to ruin I don't want to ruin his childhood. I mean, she. I want him to be a kid as long as he can be a kid. Yeah, like she she her, her daddy is drunk, so like she like my my thing. I try to my oldest like I I did everything I could to keep her. Like not keep her from my father, but not to stay with him and his parents. They drank so fucking much when I was pregnant with her. Uh, his dad actually hit me, uh, which when I had her, I was staying with them. They, his mother actually dropped her, and she wasn't up but like a month right. and a half. So like, then like I didn't like I had tried and tried and just because I got my son's father and again with him, that shit fucked me up. Right. So now for what? Four years, five years now, going on five years. She's done seen so much shit. It's like I would explain to her shit growing up, but I would, you know, what I'm saying I wouldn't, you know, just say it blunt like that. But since she's been with him and the shit that she has, she has to see with, with her daddy and them and everything, mm -hmm. she like she know more than 11, eleven year old should, should know. Right. So now, like, I just I tell her. You think, she, you think you think she mature enough to handle it? Cause she, she, because she, she, because honestly, she already been exposed to so much. She she really honestly she was like well, and they talk about it in school. What, uh, what's it, uh, the dare program? Yeah, dare to keep kids off drugs. Mm -hmm. So I tell her like, yeah, I said mommy's out here on drugs. Like don't don't do no drugs when you get older, baby. Go to school, get get yourself together. I said don't worry about no man. I said I tell her it's, once you have sex and you lose your virginity, you you're not gonna get that back. Right. I tell her, I said, that's something that you wait, you keep for yourself till you get married. And I let her know. I'm not, I'm not going to lie to my daughter. Like, I'm not going to. I like, I don't want her sucking up and being, being out here. Right. And she's asked me, have I got in here? Have I got, you know, fights? And I said, yeah. <laughs> like, she, she asked me about the shit. And then the stuff that she watched, the stuff that's on TV nowadays. days. Mm -hmm. And social media. Yeah. Like, you can't. Can't. No, I ain't saying hide it from them. I just would, but I, I would, I would want to. I would want them to keep a certain level of respect for me. Even if they learn about, even even they they take the the their, the their class, know about drugs, know about the streets, know about prostitution. Oh, no know, matter. No, but I, I, would, I would want them to keep a, ser a certain level of respect for me until they get older, and I can tell them they won't lose no respect. Oh, she should. She she, she listens to me. She still got all right. respect. Well, that's, it's all good. Look, well, look, well, look, 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 look. At the end of the day, I'm still your mama. That's I'm, right. I'm, you, I'm, right. Gonna tell, I'm gonna tell you right from wrong. Right. I can't and I can't tell you how to raise your kids because I ain't perfect myself. So um. And she's had drugs. Off of the herd. Eleven year old. Mm-hmm. Where? Kids at school. Kids. And in, what's she in? The fifth or sixth grade? Fifth. In the fifth grade. Yeah. Them kids ain't got no drugs in fifth grade. Them kids ain't got no drugs in fifth grade. I talk. I interview people all the time. They said. They said. They said. They started when they were twelve. That's seventh grade. Hand the guy. Uh, yes, they do. And I ain't heard them. I said they started at, at ten years old. Yeah. Go out and hang out with friends. Yeah. 
Oh, they got some stuff like that. Yeah, you don't, you don't know what other other parents are doing to their kids. Or like you right, you right. Kids. I don't know. Like this shit, this shit's crazy these days. It really is. And well, I don't see man. Well, hopefully, your, your daughter told him no. She did, and I, I said, and, don't be like mom. And then she came back and told you. So that's good that she oh, she wanted to communicate with you too. She she talk to me about stuff like that's she right. talk to me about stuff that she won't talk to nobody else. Right. So like I'm not no, don't be like your mama. Don't don't be like me. Do better than me. I, I might not need to post this video because she if I post this video and she sees she gonna see how you talking to me and stuff and how the people over there waiting on you over there. You you want me to post the video? Respectfully, I don't. But if you do, that's on you. If she sees it. But, do, but I got your permission to post it. If you choose to. Good, because I'm a poster. <laughs> you shouldn't be out here talking that nasty stuff. You, you grown woman, you, you wear, got them big girl panties on today, don't you? Got them big girl panties on today? <laughs> nah. <laughs> but listen, I, I ain't going to hold you up. I see money out here, man. I'm about to go. I don't, I don't condone none of that shit. Hopefully, uh, I'll give you a donation and you take it and do the right thing with it. Going back to the motel. Uh, well, I'm going to get some food because I'm hungry. Get your son to eat. <laughs> go, go get y'all a little feet done. Y'all have a good time. Stay blessed. Stay safe. Stay clean. Work on your sobriety. And got to the parents, look, kids, if you got your kids and everything, and if you know that That's right, they, give them some games, school. If, if, if you know they're going through some shit or you feel like they are and you don't like certain friends, I'm going to be honest with you, my opinion, let them know off date. I mean, I know it don't sound like good parenting, but you got to think about it. It would be better for them to hear it come from you than anybody else. Yeah, yeah you, know, you know, my brother's going to have something to say about this now. They might, some of them are going to agree with you. Some of them are going to agree with that. Mm -hmm. and but go ahead and finish. The ones that, you know, that have an issue with it, I mean, you got you got to think about your odds and ends, though. You ready for your child to have that close relationship with you and be able to tell you stuff, stuff that they're embarrassed about, or, you know, them go out and experience on their own. That, that's how I look at it. I, 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 can, I, can, I can slightly relate to that because once my kid get old enough, my son, and they start having a dare program in them school, and the people trying to teach my son about drugs, I'm gonna let my sister in my head be, be my cameraman. He gonna see it firsthand. And the reason why I'm gonna do that is because it's different learning about drugs in a school environment around teachers that got money and they so clean. The other everybody in the school is clean. They but you, but, but, but they, here in the streets that's all drugs. Right. It's like you hearing about a dirty drug from clean people. It's different hearing it from them clean people when you go out with your daddy and we interview people and you say, now this is the real. Mm -hmm. When my son see this shit. Ain't no way, ain't no way he gonna, ain't no way he wanna grow up and do that. Exactly. But I'm gonna make, but, but, you know, but if I was doing some drugs, I probably would hide it from him a little bit. I wouldn't tell him. Yeah, I want my son, I want my son to think I'm his super, super hero. His superman, his protector, his provider. I don't want him to ever think that I, I let mean, him down on nothing. My daughter, like, she, she tells me, she, she tell, before, you know, I came out here, she, she, she tell me, uh, I wanna be like you, mama. I was like, no, you don't, not. She, she'll tell me, like, not how you are now, but the way I used to be. I was like, my little brother wrote a school report about me, and my little brother has seen me go through a lot of shit. And he, he to this day, like, he said, he'll tell me, like, sis, I love you. So you got love and respect for you. Uh, and, and he do. He said, but he wants you to get your shit together, too. He said, I know you're going to get yourself together. He said, and when you do, he said, I know you're going to come back. And you're going to come back stronger and, and better. And so right. And he tells me this shit. But for him to write a five-page report about me, it kind of hurt. It kind of hit you a little bit. Hit that heart. It really did. Well, so yeah, I'm out here. Yeah, I'm, I'm struggling, but I'm getting better. That's all that matters. Right. To me. You look better than you did last time. And I see, I see I, I, you were just in a happy spirit. Now you're crying. I don't want to make you cry today. I want you to go get your toes done. Go get something to eat. Get that happy, that, 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 that little happy spirit you just had. Get that <laughs> smile back on your face. There you go. God bless you. I got, I got some free dollar for you. Bless y'all. Y'all stay safe. Get out there. And just make sure y'all, as a family, y'all stick together. Right. No matter through anything and everything. Peace.